Today we're gonna paint the little cat, and uh, this cat photo it's uh, provided by uh, Snow, my uh, one of my favorite students. Uh, she's 12 years old, and thank you, Snow, for providing this beautiful cat photo, uh, so I can uh, make a beautiful painting out of this. Okay, so right now, uh, what I need to do is I need uh, I'm gonna paint a uh, sort of like an impressionistic, more of a colorful, uh, presentational type of a painting instead of just copying photos. So I'm gonna, uh, first of all, I'm gonna use a, a app uh, to convert uh, to a, from a, this photo to a uh, different, uh, different uh, from a different uh, uh, reference, from different reference, type of a different reference, um, photos so I can borrow I can borrow different colors uh, instead of just re rely on this one color one values so we're gonna get into that right now okay all right let's take a look at this so first I'm gonna, gonna get into a uh, called pick art uh, pick art you can download them for free uh, so we can use the free features, which is just uh, some kind of effects to produce in different values and different colors uh, to help me to produce like maybe we're gonna make about five to six uh, Maybe what we'll see uh, so I was reference photo out of that. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this Okay, I'll leave the I'll leave the link in below so you guys can take a look at uh, what you can do with this app. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna add this uh, photograph, this this little snow um, cat, a little cat. Uh, so we're gonna go just directly uh, into the effects. Okay, so we're gonna go to just pick a few. I'm gonna pick the first one. That's a nice color come out. So what I can do is I want to do is just like screenshot. Let's see how that goes. That's, oops, did I do that? Let's try it again. Nope. Okay, now. That's one. Uh, instead of doing, uh, I'll just try to download every one of them. Uh, that takes, t takes a longer time. So I'm just going to do screenshots. So that's a little faster, uh, convenient, okay? All right, we're gonna do the second one. Mm, do this one first. Do the little, kind of like a purplish. Okay, be that's beautiful, right? Okay, so anybody could thought of this, okay. That's two. And we're gonna do two. Another one. Oh, so let's come back here. That's the uh, black and white, like uh, outlines, more of outlines. Okay, do this right here. Do a screenshot. Okay, that's a nice one. Okay, do one more. Okay, that's another beautiful one. Okay, all right. Okay. So as a, you know, I, I don't know. There's there's quote from uh, people think it's from a Picasso. I'm not sure it's from him. Uh, it says like good artist uh, borrow and great artist steal. So right now we're gonna not steal from anybody. We're gonna steal from this app, okay? Steal different uh, from a different uh, make a different fo reference photo out of this. Okay. All right. We're gonna go one more. That's a beautiful one. Oops. Did I do that? Okay. I'll try it again. Okay. Let's try it again here. Let's see. That's a beautiful, another beautiful one. So we're gonna make as many as we can from uh, this app here. This is this is a wonderful app. Look at this one. You can just skip from here. So let's see. That's a beautiful one. What else is we oh, we should get from this app here? Let me see. That's also a nice one. What can uh, you know what? So I'm gonna go a little bit. Wow, look at all of this. This gets a little crazy, a little wild. Look at this, another one. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do one more with a little snowy look. Okay, that's a little snowy look right there. Okay. You know what, you definitely couldn't go crazy with this thing. Wow, look at this one. Okay, let's see what we got. What else does we have here? That's another beautiful one. Mmm. Okay, definitely you can go as many as you want to, uh, where you can. Um, but we're gonna just leave for, for that right now, because otherwise you can go, go, you can go like a little crazy like that. Okay, maybe this one here, that's another one. Yeah, I like that one too. Okay, we're gonna go from here. We're gonna just borrow all of these. Uh, they'll, well, okay, let's see, let me stop from here. We're gonna go back out to our photo gallery. Okay, now we're going to, we are going to our photo gallery and we're gonna take a look at all we had made, right? We had from this, uh, this app called uh, PicArt. So I have this one. I have this beautiful one here and then that one there. All of these are like became a different reference photos, reference sources for me to try to paint that same cat. Okay, look at this one, purple. Okay, we're gonna go from here. So I'm gonna just use this type of uh, strategy. So I, it, along with this, another strategy I had was uh, I'm rotating. I'm rotating my cameras and I'll show you how I do it right now, okay? All right. Okay, uh, this is a 12 by 16 uh, inches uh, canvas I bought from Michaels. Uh, so we're gonna take it, use this for today's cat, this today's project. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna just open up. Okay, maybe there's a little noise here. I'm gonna just probably have to delete that. Okay, so I'm gonna take that one and put it right here. Uh, and now we're gonna start like doing little sketches on top of this uh, this canvas. Okay, I'm using a disposable palette. Okay, so that's uh, very convenient. You just you use these wax papers um, for my uh, paint. I'm gonna squeeze some white. These are mixed white. So I wanna I wanna have like several different ones, so I don't get the uh, uh, mix them up or dirty. So we're gonna start with the, some kind of pale yellow. So I'm gonna put this all together here and just to show you my palette is. I'm not too concerned of the name, the colors. I'm more of a concern about warm colors from warm color to cooler colors. Okay, so that's the the yellows right here. That's my system. So I'm gonna not to. Uh, sorry, you know what I supposed to have. Uh, so I'm just gonna ramp them and put it in there, but it's still gonna be systematic. Okay, so that's black. And uh, we have rose red. But these are a lot of the a lot of the more generic colors I bought from uh, our store, called Blick. Okay, that's another one. So uh, lighter greens, so maybe what Sierra. Okay. Okay, for uh, my type of a paintings, I'm not too concerned about name of the colors. I'm more of a concern of uh, more of a result, result of it, you know, like uh, how they come out later afterwards. So lighter blue. Green, which is, has, doesn't have a name anymore. 
Radiant blue, green. Maybe a little darker red. All of them are has colors them off. Can't see anymore. But that's not my main concern. My main concern is how how the how if these colors will will play out together on campus. Okay, let's have a little. Uh, maybe this one is little zinc yellow hue, which is more of a lemon lemon type of a color. I would like to have orange or pink, maybe a little pinkish color, like pinkish color to it. Orange, you have to have orange. I don't particularly like brown uh, or uh, uh, or uh, yellow ochre, uh, brown yellow ochre. Just to me, it just could be could be mixing into it. Okay, so I'm just only. Uh, don't have those colors. Uh, sometimes the students ask for those colors because uh, they thought these are the main colors for paintings. Um, I usually don't do it myself. Uh, let's see, one more color, uh, one more dark blue. I'm okay, looking for one more dark blue. That's another like purplish, maybe has a, uh, just gosh, this name are covered, so I couldn't tell what it is. Maybe uh, aquamarine. Okay. okay, let's see what we got here. All right, that's my main palette. Uh, for for my paint most of my paintings. Okay. Okay. For the for, to clean the brush, or in the same time, I use this uh, this uh, brush cleaner, which is thinner. It's called uh, it's what's, what's the name of it? It's called Gam It's a brand called Gam. It's a Gamso, and also it's called, I think it's called Odorless. Uh, mineral spirit, and uh, it's a, I use it's a very versatile. I use for uh, for my clean my brush at the same time. I use just to thin my just thin my paint sometimes, uh, because uh, it it, it helps the, the the paint is dry very fast. Okay, faster so helps. So I'm gonna put this in here in the little bottle. Okay, so and uh, for and then uh, I'm also I'm using uh, it's called quick bla a glaze, quick glaze type of a medium uh, to add, sometimes add a texture to it, texture to it uh, for my uh, for my oh, for my oils. Okay, that should do it for my uh, paintings. So I'm gonna start a painting right now. Okay, alrighty. Okay, I'm just put them away right now. It should be uh, because I'm a right-handed, so everything will be a right-hand side. So I have my, uh, they're all out of the way right now. I'm gonna put on my canvas back in here. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna put a canvas right here and then put on my reference photos, which is on my iPad, right next to it. So I'm gonna just use a little pencil to be, huh? Make sure that's in the right spot. So it's not too high or not too low. Somewhere in the canvas here. So that's our, that's our, uh, the hat of the cat. Okay, so. I think this is, looks, I think looks good. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna focus on mainly on the eye right now. Okay, so that's the sole. They say that's the sole of the being. Got a 
love to use this kind of app. It, it, it breaks down the shapes for you. So you don't have to struggle. Just get on it. Okay, that's our pencil sketch. Okay, after the sketch, I'm gonna sketch one more time with a little like pointy brush. Okay, so just, we're gonna step into the thinner and I'm gonna make some neutral color. Not too brown, not too uh, green or anything like that, or just some neutral color. So I like to use like five, six different colors. Okay, right now, a little bit of greenish. That's fine. So I'm just gonna do it one more time with the shading of shapes here. Okay. So that's our shape. So I'm not a struggle with this. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I like to use my fingers to roll around, okay? And the pointing down, I'm not doing handwriting. Just our shapes, basic shapes. And uh, go back to the eye. Today we're gonna focus. Today we're just gonna focus. Like our this painting, love to focus on the eye. Okay, let's see. This is a little. The nose, whiskers, maybe. I think maybe maybe later on we're gonna be covered up. So that's our hand. That's our little paw. And a little body, a little body, oh, body right here. So, right here. So, I'm gonna just, so eventually we're gonna see how that goes. So, we're just not gonna do the backgrounds. I'm gonna focus on just the face, this part here. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna, um, I'm, I changed the brush a little bit bigger. Okay, then I'm gonna look at, I'm looking, I'm gonna flip into. Uh, different ones I had, right? So I made uh, different material uh, uh, reference. So I'm looking at this little pink one, I like this little uh, purplish. I like this color a lot. So I'm gonna borrow these color right now, okay? Just to get the, get some stuff in there. Okay, look like look like let me use a little look like we use a little uh, blue, light blue on a, on a, on the eye here. And the blue right, that's not even blue here. But anyway, so it's right here. Okay, what about the background? Okay, I'm gonna borrow some of this water here. How about this blue here? Then I make it this blue right here. How about that? And I'm later on, I'm gonna add some pinkish color, like purplish. Okay, so these colors probably be along the line here. Oh, look at this, this is beautiful purple. Okay, I'm gonna use this do it one more time, the shape. A little bit of white, a little bit of purple. Blue. This area, I'm gonna give a little bit right here the body. Purple. And a bit of red. Just go for this outline here. The, maybe dark blue here, just for the outline. Okay, see what we got here. That looks like 
nice one. Okay, this one looks like it's a very good photo for a uh, for background, for background. So we're gonna use this photo for our background, okay? All right, take a look at this here. Just use the background, so we're gonna use this little uh, harder brush, maybe, huh? Okay. So dip a little thinner, and maybe a little bit of black. I like to mix it with different colors. We have a dark green, lighter green, lighter blue, Okay, all right, different blue ones. And I'm just gonna use this colors for it up. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. So I can't go too fast. It's gonna be spit, spelled all over the place. Don't wanna do that. Okay, for the background, uh, just like any colors, we're gonna do a few times. This is my background color. That's a little dark blue, dark green. That looks really nice right now. Okay, so make some more. Black, blue, Two, two, two different blues and two different greens. Maybe a little bit of purple. Why not? Okay. All right. We're gonna go back here and yeah, a little bit more bluish, more purplish. That's nice. Nice thickness. Very right, good. I like that. Wow, it looks like I'm gonna take care of this one sitting. Okay, that's look like really nice. Okay, so we'll just take this right here. Go some more. Like my students, they love to work in the backgrounds. So we're gonna work in the backgrounds a little bit. Make sure they're all covered nicely. Okay, so that's part of the body gonna be going into it. Alrighty, some more. Get this probably up, have, have a little more purple. Gonna have a little purplish, a little, little lavenderish, right this part of all of this. So it doesn't have to be one color. Okay, so and a little bit lighter green. Look at this lighter green. Maybe lighter blue. Somewhere on the along the body part here. And uh, purple. Lavenderish. Right on this part here. This could just cover nicely. Let's see that cover it up. So now you have to cover the background. So just have to, uh, when we pack the background, just have to, uh, then later on we'll just go blue. So we don't have to worry about this, worry about this. We're gonna focus our attention to the cat, to Snow's cat. Because this cat was shoot by Snow's father, the photo. So we're gonna just focus on that right now afterwards, okay? Yeah, it looks ready to go. Okay. Here we go. Okay, it looks like we're, um, I'm going to go, going back to the different uh, reference material now, reference photos now. I'm gonna look to uh, different, uh, different ones. Uh, maybe we're gonna look into, uh, how about this one here? And I wanna work on this little eye a little bit more. Okay, all right, let's see what the eye here. I just could put a little bit of oh, this little purplish color. I used to like five to four or five different colors. I like to mix them up. Okay, so I'm gonna just put it right here. Just I treat as drawings, so I'm just put it right here. Get a 
So I'm just going to draw the two and I'll put this little colors. And uh, add a little thinner. Okay. And uh, probably the red here. And a little, how about this purplish color back here? And the red again, maybe a little bit more red. Do the exaggerated colors. How about this part here? Okay, and we just cover this part up and maybe sure. So we'll make sure the faces come out real nicely now. Okay, and look like we probably could have used a little bit of purple right here. Just a little bit more purple right here. And then look at the lavender colors here. We'll clean it up a little bit. And uh, at this point, I'm going to add a little bit more pastel color to it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of more, uh, let's call it, what's it called? Gamblin, Violet, uh, Radiant, uh, which is just a light pastel color. I'm going to add right here next to the purple. Okay, I'm gonna go back and uh, use this color a little bit more. But right here with this, with this blue here, a little bit right here, look at this blue here. And I'm gonna go make the bodies a little bit right here. And I'm making more purplish, maybe more purple color to it. More purple color to it. Maybe a little bit breath right here. It's beautiful red here, maybe a little bit more red. Yeah, a little bit more red here. Okay, we're just gonna come back here and just get a little more here. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next reference now. So we'll flip through the different ones. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna use this one for this part. Make this part a little darker. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm use clean the brush, a little pointy brush. Okay. I'm gonna put, use a little thin thinner. Look at this. We can use this color. Just add a little. Greens and blues. So make this part a little. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit. Uh, this to make this part a little lighter. And a little darker back here. Sure. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. And I love this color. I like this contrast. I love this contrast of this hand here. 
I'm probably use these. I'm gonna use this this contrast for now. See how that goes. So I might use different different brush, a little soft brush like this. Okay, how that goes? See how that goes. I'm gonna use a little orange. I'm not sure it's orange. I'm not sure it's orange. We'll see what happens here. Maybe a little bit of red. So let's do this part here. See how that goes. Okay, a little lighter. A little pinkish color. Let me go for this part here. Bottom there, like that. Don't be afraid to leave a little white here. So later on, I'm gonna cover them up with some other colors. And a little bit more white. Make the contrast. Contrast. I like the contrast. Love the contrast. Okay, that's a beautiful contrast. Okay. Okay, even though it's, this is oil, uh, because I use the uh, uh, mineral spiral uh, thinner, uh, we can, uh, I can still accelerate the drying by blow, use the blow dryers a little bit, okay? So when you should blow dry it a little bit. Okay, we're gonna flip through. Okay, I'm gonna find this one. We use this one for the eye. Again, we we'll use this little pointy brush. Okay, we're gonna, gonna fix a little mix with a little blue, lighter blue, probably with the white. Maybe a little white. Green, blue, Oops, yellow. Okay, try not to mix them up. Okay, and uh, we'll add a little more values to it. Can use the blue part. Lighter blues. Okay, I'm gonna add it, use a little black for the eye. Dark. I'm gonna use a little black right now, but I'm 
must use is supposed to use black, the black color values, maybe a little bit right here. So it looks like um, at this point I'm gonna add use a palette knife, real uh, small thin palette knife. I'm gonna add a little white part to it, okay? Because it's easier to cover it up. So just a little white. So I'm gonna use this white here, mix white. Just, just to make sure this white part is being uh, covered up. that okay hmm look at that that's nice a bit right here very versatile it helps a lot in different areas I guess I get over go over a little too much we'll come back later so a little palette knife here lighter tones here Too much, you're gonna come back. You will use this part. Cover this. Let's ready to turn again okay I'm gonna add a few more of this little pastel color to it to help me so I have a little pastel green and a blue lighter uh, turquoise I'll put it right here maybe right next to it Okay, since I turned everything upside down now, I'm gonna use different uh, reference. I'm gonna work on the darker tones, work on the values a little bit uh, with this uh, darker blues and a purplish blues. Okay, let's see what I have in there. Purple and blue together. Okay. brush down here. Work on, like, just like the drawing, work on your shapes. Not too dark enough. A little black, a little bit. I'm reconfirm my shapes right now.
confirm my shape, maybe. Reconfirm your shapes a little bit more. Okay. Just the thinner, it's very helpful because uh, it dries fast. A little bit of black. A little bit of purple. Thinner, a little thicker. Okay, a little bit, not much. Yeah, a little bit more right here. If it's too big, later on you can get the smaller. A little bit of black for this part here. A little bit of black for this, this part here. So we just want to make sure the shapes are being taken care of. Just blend them in. Alright, you're gonna probably put a little more purpose over this side. So it doesn't look like too brownish. How about these little lighter purpose? This is like this one. Just okay, give it a little shape there. Like 
Senhor até cheio. Ok, let's see. We're gonna and then we're gonna add a little more blue to this part here. So we're ready to turn. Again, uh, I mean, it looks like it's oil, but it looks like we can still dry it a little bit. It helps with because the thinner helped. So I'm not. Okay, so I found a different um, found a different reference photo. Um, I like this photo a lot, so I'm gonna use that photo for some of the colors I put it in. Right now, I'm gonna use a little lemon uh, yellow for a lot of yellow parts, like this part here. That's yellow, and that's extended yellow right there. That's beautiful right there. That's another extended yellow here, and. Uh, Bit, use a non pellet knife, work on that a little bit, and the more maybe yellow with the pale. These two yellows, I'm gonna put it right where the nose is. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend it in a little bit, blend into some of the colors here we have. Just blend into it, and, and right off, that's beautiful. Got that, straight it out. to the orange maybe the orange and yeah, there's a little bit of red right there the red like that and yeah, how about this right here and yeah, how about this pale per, uh, pink Now we're gonna uh, pl apply this green into this part here. Yeah, I like that, I like, like that a lot. Apply more green, a bit more, these two greens here. Apply them right here. Okay, wow. Apply, apply a little bit, two more, two more little bit green, right. Okay, very good job, very good, very good. So right now I'm gonna apply, apply more yellow here. Okay, let's see yellow there, right there. bit of more per pink next to it. Oops, come on a little bit more. I like that a lot. Hmm. Okay, a little bit more yellow. Here. 
and uh, how about this one? And a little bit of orange. Okay, so I'm not stressed out. I'm gonna uh, go back to some other um, resource, made the uh, photo uh, sources. Okay, take a look. At, take a look at this again. Okay. Okay, after uh, we uh, go to a couple of like, wild trips with the different uh, reference photos and uh, crazy colors, we're gonna go back to the original and try to finish off and bring everything back together, okay? All right, let's see what can have just one or two sections to finish this. Okay, I'm gonna work on this dark background again. That's a little black, blue, couple different colors, maybe uh, purple, dark green, several different colors together, and we're gonna try to bring this together. Saw brush. Color to here to just make a little bit of more brownish red, maybe because these colors would mix into different colors. like these little sharp brushes sharp and soft Okay, add a little more. I like the overlap with these colors. Okay, that's this part. And uh, work on the back of these color here. So let me use this a little bit. Okay, these colors, all of these colors can be used. Just mixed to different tones. Okay, now we're gonna use maybe orange. Ooh, okay, maybe orange helps. Look at this. Orange, you wanna make it into a dark tones. Just to get a little bit of those. Still leaves. 
song. Okay, let's go back right here. How about this part? Maybe the maybe the blue would do it. black Texture to it. Get a green, maybe. Maybe a little bit of purple, a bit of white colors to help to bring this part not too tight. More. And uh, maybe a little bit of blue here. color again <laughs> try 
to see it later, maybe. Okay, um, looks like it, we're back into it. I'm gonna take out a little smaller brush, smaller thin brush here. I'm um, gonna try to finish this uh, painting once for all. Uh, so we're gonna try to finish this in 15 minutes. Okay, we're gonna go back to the basic shading, shading shadings again. Basic shapes, maybe shape. Sorry. Back to the basic shapes. Okay, a little bit of black, a little bit of red. Okay, let's see what we have. It's very important to have your basic shapes. Okay, let's see, basically a little bit black, a little bit red, purple maybe. Okay, let's see the basic shapes. So we might want to get rid of some of this red here. Basic shapes. Values, right? Values are the shapes, a little bit of black. Make sure the dark part is being taken care of. Dark part. Basic shapes. Okay. Black. Blue, maybe. the dark part, dark, dark. How about that little dark pupil on the inside? That's right there. Okay. And the dark part here. Most important is this part and this part here. Come directly, and we're gonna put a little bit of lighter, lighter tones. Maybe a little blue here. Okay, let's uh, use my palette knife. Use my palette knife and try to place these some um, white ones back here again.
my color. These are right these are white colors are very important. Just and I here. Okay, and more, maybe a little bit more white in the mouth here. Let me use the brushes to finish the whiskers.
my blue color maybe a little bit of blue green Just to finish off the eye here. Separate this a little bit. I think we should have finished this by now. Don't want to work a little more anymore. Okay, that's uh, that's our cat. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much.